Hello my lovelies, it is time for another vlog, so stay tuned. Good morning my lovelies. So the way I ended last week's vlog, sorry if you can hear all the running water in the background, but my mother-in-law just got in the shower. Uh, so the way I ended last week's vlog, I said that I was gonna do a time lapse and include it on this one of me doing my paint by number, but I didn't end up doing that because I just felt so bad, like so sick. We are all feeling kind of terrible. Unfortunately, we haven't done anything be except for sleep for the most part because we've just all felt so yucky. Uh, luckily though, it's if you didn't watch that, um, we took COVID tests, we're negative. So it's just, just a funky cold thing that's got us all feeling icky. But today we're hoping to go out and do a couple of things even though we don't feel great we still want to go and do a little bit because i mean we're in canada so <laughs> we got to do something while we're here so one of the things we want to kind of take it easy and not go crazy with doing stuff but one of the things we want to do is go to value village value village i hear books and lala like I hear Kayla from Books and Lala talk about Value Village all the time um, where she goes and she gets like used books or whatever. So I want to go there and check it out. We also want to go to Tim Hortons uh, and get coffee because I know that's a very Canadian kind of thing. So I want to do that and uh, I think they want to try some poutine and uh, I'm going to try it. We want to try all the Canadian things. <laughs> And uh, we also need to get some souvenirs and stuff to bring back home. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be feeling much, much better and can um, go and do something a bit more sightsee and fun. Uh, but today we kind of want to take it easy since nobody's at 100% yet. Oh, and yesterday, I think I forgot to mention some of the books that I was reading last week and I actually did finish some books last week. I finished The Ship of Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan and I give that five stars. Um, I love this Magnus Chase series. It's so great and I love how inclusive it is. Uh, our main character, he is... I don't really know yet what his orientation is uh but we do have a character named alex who is gender fluid and sometimes they are male sometimes they are female and magnus chase is definitely into alex either way so there's that uh and other than that i can't really tell too much about it because it is like the third book i think in the series uh and then I was supposed to finish uh, Nine from the Nine Worlds yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, but I didn't. Uh, so I need to work on that today. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm supposed to start The Nature of Witches today. So yeah, I need to do that. Uh, I also listened to a little bit more of Asylum uh, by Madeline Rowe. But once I was on the boat, I couldn't I couldn't listen to it anymore because it was through Hoopla. Even though I downloaded it, it it just wouldn't it wouldn't open the Hoopla at all for me uh, on the boat. So I did listen to a little bit when we were at one of the ports. Uh, I think we were like I think it was in Juno, and we were driving to our excursion. I listened to it a little bit there, but I, I'm not sure how far I got. Uh, so I need to finish that this week as well and I am currently reading physically All the Rage uh, by Courtney Summers and I was supposed to physically start reading Thriller because I was planning on reading a story a day and I haven't read any stories so I'm behind on that. <laughs> so hopefully I'll feel up to reading today. I, I just couldn't yesterday i couldn't even listen to an audiobook because my brain was just mush so hopefully i'll be able to do a little bit more today uh so i think that's it for this check-in and i'll take you along with me as we go and do something <laughs>
Okay, we are back in the Airbnb. Um, I'm sitting on the floor right now so I can show you the things that uh, we picked up while we were out. So, got a little bit of souvenirs. Marty got this funny little shirt. And he got this shirt. And I got this Canada jersey. And this is a gift for one of my friends. At the thrift store, Xander got a coat and these. <laughs> and I got these cute little Clark's wedge heels. And I also got a book at the thrift store because it was like $1.99. Uh, with the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I don't think I have this one. It's in really good condition for $1.99. Uh, when we were at the Indigo Bookstore, I picked up Jagged Little Pill, the novel, uh, and The Near Witch by B.E. Schwab. And I picked up a bookmark, or not a bookmark, a postcard for my friend. Oh, and it... The place where Marty got the funny shirts, I got this funny little coloring book. And at Indigo, I also got a mug, and it says, reading is sexy. I think that's everything we got while we were out. Oh, Marty also got like a big crossword puzzle thing. And of course, Marty's parents got stuff as well. But yeah, that's those are our souvenirs from today. <laughs> Tomorrow, we will hopefully be a little healthier maybe <laughs> or feel a little slightly better uh, because we want to do some fun outdoorsy stuff tomorrow and we really don't want to feel like doo-doo uh, which we've all we all all of us feel doo-doo <laughs> like doo-doo right now it's not pleasant uh, but hopefully we're gonna be able to go out and have some fun tomorrow and we also have to take our COVID test for flying. We took COVID tests already the other day to make sure that this wasn't COVID that we have. Uh, but tomorrow we have to take the test that we need uh, with the telehealth so we can fly home. Hopefully we can fly home. <laughs> we're a little concerned about the flight back just because we're flying with the same people. Uh, but that's it. We are waiting on food and then uh, which is three minutes away and then we're just gonna chill for the night so yesterday was a bust um and kind of so was today so yesterday the plan was we would sleep in and then we'd get up and we knock out our COVID test that we have to take for our flight home. And then we were gonna go to this thing where there was like a big suspension bridge and all this fun outdoorsy stuff. And we did the sleeping in and uh, we started getting all of our stuff together, kind of cleaning up a little bit in the Airbnb. And I took my COVID test and it was negative. And then Marty took his, and it was not negative. His was positive, which meant we couldn't fly home. So, uh, yesterday was pretty much spent figuring out everything and how long we have to stay and what we need to do and changing flights and booking another Airbnb because ours, you know, that was our last gonna be our last night there and uh yeah today has been a moving into our new airbnb which is quite far from our last one um and we had to go grocery shopping and stuff like that we are here in canada until the 16th i'm i'm pretty sure uh that me and Curtis, Marty's dad, actually ended up getting it while we were on the plane. I mean, not on the plane, on the cruise. And then we just 
<sighs> I think we were no longer contagious or whatever by the time we took the test and it showed us negative. Because um, we're still showing negative. However, we've been very, very sick. Uh, it was, I was really bad off. Um, and so was Curtis. And the other three weren't so bad. <laughs> but yeah, so Marty tested positive yesterday. And this morning, Kathy said, you know, she felt a little more congested than she had. And so she took a test today. We actually all, except for Marty, the rest of us all took another test today. And me and Curtis and Xander were all negative, but Kathy was positive. So, yeah. It cost a small fortune to get our flights changed and to book this Airbnb last minute uh, for one that was big enough to have five people. And yeah, yeah, it's, this has been a trip that we will never forget. I'll tell you that. Um, and yeah, today's pretty much been spent, like I said, moving into the new Airbnb. We bought groceries to bring here and contacting a million people for changing appointments and all kinds of stuff because we've got we have so much that was planned for like right after we get back so yeah not going to be able to make any of those appointments and just had to do a ton of rescheduling i still have more that i need to call and i don't have uh my books that i was going to be reading during that time so that's tricky. I also don't have my planner, which uh, tells me what I need to edit and film. And so I may not be able to film like things that I was supposed to film during that week. I'm not gonna be able to film. <sighs> this is definitely gonna mess my schedule up with that, but it's just, it's an adventure. <laughs> But we're hoping that Marty won't stay positive too long and he'll be able to like be back out in the world. The rest of us can actually go out in the world. We just have to wear our masks and uh, yeah, hopefully they'll get better soon. But for now, I think we're just going to be doing a lot of chilling around this Airbnb. Maybe I'll give you a tour tomorrow of it because we got bags everywhere right now. And yeah, Xander's right outside this window. He's playing with a tennis ball. We stopped at a, a place called Cheap Skates. It's a like sports store, consignment store where they have like used um, st like sports equipment. And so we bought two tennis rackets and some tennis balls and he's bouncing around a tennis ball out there. And there is a park close by that has tennis courts. So I might take him to play tennis at some point. Because he's definitely going stir crazy already. He's been like, from the time we got off the boat, he's been ready to go back home. And he, he's not too thrilled about being stuck here. All right, this has been a long enough update. I'm gonna go and Maybe I'll do a paint by number. So not much going on today. We um, 
we went to Value Village and did a little shopping there. Uh, I got a couple of short sleeve shirts and stuff because uh, <laughs> I packed like a lot of sweaters and long sleeve shirts and the weather has been too warm for that. So I needed to get a couple of short sleeve short shirts while we, for while we were here. And uh, we went to the mall and bought some luggage because we've bought a lot of extra stuff in souvenirs and stuff. And yeah, we bought some new luggage and bought a couple of games that we could play uh, with everybody. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Xander is currently doing schoolwork. Everybody else is in bed. <laughs> it's like 8 o'clock at night. And I'm going to, I think, sit and read. I'm not sure which. Either I'm going to work on Thriller, which I haven't started yet. Or All the Rage by Courtney Summers. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see what else. Um, yesterday when I was doing my Paint by Number, I finished listening to nine from the nine worlds and i think i would just give that one four stars i enjoyed it or maybe yeah i'll give it four stars i enjoyed it it was uh a lot of extra little stories uh from several of the different characters it was fun uh thor going through the nine worlds trying to get 10 million steps was kind of funny uh but yeah, that's, it's really just a, I guess a collection of stories from different characters and that's really it. Uh, oh, I also finished listening to Asylum by Madeline Rowe and I think I'm going to give that one a 3.5. I enjoyed it. I will read more of the series. I think it had an interesting twist and I could start seeing more things that I think might be coming up. Uh, so, Asylum, it's the first book in a series. It is, there's this like college program, uh, like summer program for high school students. And it's at this place that once was an asylum. And people in the town aren't happy about this place weird things are happening with students. Our main character has some weird connection with the history of this place as well as other students and uh, people end up dead. And it was fun. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit spooky, a little bit twisty, and I am curious to see where it goes from here. Uh, oh, and I didn't say, Nine from the Nine Worlds is a short story collection from Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. Okay, so that's it as far as my reading updates go. Oh, no, it's not. I actually started The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin, and that's our group book for Seasonathon, which is going to... The live show for this is going to happen, like, just a couple of days after I get home because of this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a trip I will never forget. Man, this vacation sucks. I tested positive this morning. So, we are going crazy in this house, <laughs> and we've decided that we are going to go out and do something in the outdoors, so we're going to be away from people, and um, of course we're going to have our masks and all of that. Marty, as of today, is testing negative. Um, didn't have an extra test to test Kathy and I, so I don't know. Uh, but we might see about getting more tests while we're out. 
but everybody's feeling a little uh, cabin fever and not as terrible as we've been feeling. So yeah, we want to get out of the house for a little while. Yesterday was pretty much spent um, everybody sleeping all day. <laughs> we were just recovering and yeah, that's it. Uh, we are back. We literally just went walking around the neighborhood for like, I don't know, an hour or so. And now we're back in the Airbnb, but at least we got some fresh air, got to stretch our legs a little, got to spread out <laughs> a little. Uh, and now we're back in here and it seems everybody was wanting to lay down and close their eyes for <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to work on Thriller. I have been reading it. I, I can't remember which story I'm on. I'm like the third story, I think. I'm only on page 61. Meh, it's okay. I am actually listening to The Nature of Witches uh, by Rachel Griffin, which is, like I said, our group book for Season-a-thon. And uh, I'm glad that I was able to find this on Scrib because I don't have my book with me because I was expecting to be home by now. Uh, but yeah, get this listened to. And yeah, don't really have any other plans for today except for hanging out here. And I don't know that I'll have much more to check in with you. So I guess I'll just end this vlog here. Sorry if this vlog kind of sucked by COVID and stranded in Canada. So it is what it is. We're just trying to yeah, make the best of it and find silver linings where we can. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that are hopefully better than this, <laughs> click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.